Welcome back to the studio. It is now Monday. First thing we gotta do today is a little bit of photography for the infinity piece that we had finished last week. After that, we can move on to the next project. Now that we're done with all the photography, we're gonna move on to a little bit of cold working. I've got a few projects in here that I need to cold work for a friend. I also have this thing here that needs to be cold worked. I forgot to record me making this. Unfortunately, this piece here broke. I accidentally trapped an air bubble. You can see that. And when we broke it off, what was what's called the punny, it took this chunk of glass with it, but it's actually still solid. And if somehow we finish up both of these projects by the end of the night, we have some pendants that we got to work on as well. So we got a few different things we have to work on here. These here need to be flattened and polished to get rid of all those sharp edges. This here just needs the bottom to be a little smoother. This needs the bottom and the top to be flattened. With this piece, we're going to round out the handle a little bit, get rid of that weird nub. And then we're going to go ahead and dull down this here so it's not so sharp. everything roughly shaped so far this bottom here is flat the top of this one is also now flat as well kind of shaped up this one a little bit we're gonna do more on the belt sander to make this rounder then all of these have flat bottoms at this point we're gonna take all these rough spots on each piece and we're gonna slowly bring them up to a polish So all the surfaces have been ground down to a 325 grit finish, which is just the size of the diamond on the pad. At this point, we're going to go ahead and polish all the stuff you see here. We're going to work on this separately because this requires a couple other tools to finish the job. But once we're done with these, we'll get to work on this. vessels and stoppers have been polished. Now we're going to pick back up on this piece here. All we really have to do is bring this here up to a polish and maybe put a little bit of a lens or something to smoothen this out and then polish it. to get all of these different vessels and caps and art pieces ground down and polished. I didn't put a lens on this one here. Like I said, I was going to. I just smoothed out the top and kind of chipped away the inside so it's not sharp. Like I thought, this ended up taking the entire night. So we're going to have to wrap things up here with these. And I'll see you guys tomorrow. It's now Tuesday and we have a little bit of a change of plans. First thing I want to do today before we get to the infinity pendants is I want to prototype a stand for these these pieces here. These are the pieces that we got to build stands for, the smaller and the bigger one. They don't have to be perfect, they just kind of have to work. I plan on doing something pretty basic. I'm going to do a plate of stainless steel for the very bottom, and then a couple of stainless steel rods that are going to hold the piece in place at the very bottom.
here is the current state of both of the stands. I'm gonna go ahead and sandblast one of them to see what it looks like, and if I like it, then we'll do it to both. Otherwise, we're gonna have to sand it by hand to give it that sort of brushed aluminum finish. So this is what it looks like after sandblasting. It kinda, kinda looks like I spray painted it, to be honest with you. I'm gonna try and sand it down with this here, maybe give it sort of a brushed finish. I don't hate how this looks, but I think a little bit of shine to it would make it better. The scratchy look kinda enhanced it a little bit. I probably could have done a better job, but this is just sort of a prototype, so I'm not trying to make them perfect. Now I'm gonna take the art pieces that we have lying there. I'm gonna install them onto the stands. We're gonna do a little bit of photography and then we're gonna recap, see how we can improve these. These are the pieces once they've been mounted. The bubbles are a little dirty, I didn't clean them, but I really like the tilt. I think that's a good, a good look. These definitely need some improvement. A buddy of mine recommended that we round the edges, which I think is a good idea. I also wanna take these here, make them into a V instead, so there's only one weld joint in the center. And then next time I'm gonna do a, a bit of a different finish. This still has that kind of matte sandblasted look. I want this to be a bit shinier. But in general, though, I think this is a pretty good start to the series. Now that we're all done with the metalworking, we can get back to work on the pendants. And as you can see, we have a lot of them that we still have to work on. So let's get started. So I didn't get much done. I managed to get through the next grit on all these pieces here. But we still have to get through all of these here and then we have to actually go through all the other grits to eventually polish these pieces. Because I really want to get these done, we're going to focus tomorrow mostly on just the pendants alone. <laughs> all done with the main cold working for these pieces. Now it's time for us to polish every one of these pendants. These here are all the pendants that we managed to get done today. We still have a lot more that we have to work on, but I just wanted to quickly show you guys some of these pieces here. And these, some of these are really cool. I'll try to get the camera to focus. There we go. Some of these have some really cool patterns to them. I really like this shape a lot. I think this one I want to turn into a bigger sculpture. At some point it has some really interesting optical effects. So I'm excited to play with it. We still have some more that we got to get done. So we're going to come back to this tomorrow. Thursday. It's now Thursday. I spent the earlier part of today working at a glass blowing studio getting some projects done. When I got to the studio, I found that I had this here in the mail. This here is just a, it's a ball bearing. And this here is going to go in the stand that we still need to build for the infinity pyramid that we made last week. Now I know I said we were going to pick back up on the infinity pendants today and we still are, but I want to get around to building the stand first since it's pretty basic. I already have the metal for the stand, so we just need to turn this on the lathe over there. So let's quickly just knock this out and then we can get back to the pendants. Both plates are flat and we have the grooves cut into it. You can see them there. The bearing sits in nicely and it turns quite well barely any clearance which is nice now what we have to do is to finish up the edges here because they're a little bit rough once we're done with that we're then going to put a patina on the metal here to turn it from silver to kind of a brassy color that way it'll match the gold of the art piece a little better <laughs>
here is the Lazy Susan. That's got a nice smooth spin to it, which is what you're looking for. I said I was gonna work on the Infinity Pendants tonight, but I forgot that I have a few business related things I have to do on the computer. So I'm gonna call it a night here and we're gonna finish those darn Infinity Pendants tomorrow because I'll have the entire day to do it. So I'll see you tomorrow. Just like that, we are finally done with all these pendants. Now we still have to do all the metal working required to turn these here into pendants, but that's gonna be for a different vlog because I still have to order all the supplies. Before we wrap up the night, I still have one more project that needs to be done. The project is pretty simple. All I have to do is to attach a base onto a glass sculpture that I made a little while ago. So this here is the sculpture you can see. It sits nice and flat, but the only problem is that it is able to be tipped over like that. So I have this slab of glass that's been kind of just sitting around. I see a corner of its chip, so we're going to have to fix that. What I plan on doing is taking this here and gluing it like that onto the sculpture. That way it has a much more stable base. So we're going to flatten this. We'll flatten the other corners as well so it matches. We'll polish it up, and then we're going to glue the sculpture onto the base. Just like that, we now have a nice little base for this sculpture. Very difficult to tip over, so no worries about that. The place I'm going to be installing this piece at is currently under construction, so I'm not sure if they're going to let me film there. I'm sure I can get something, but I'm not entirely sure. It's also the end of the week, which means it's time to wrap up this vlog. If you guys enjoyed the vlog, then be sure to hit that like button. If you guys want to see more videos, then be sure to subscribe. And as always, thanks for your time.